are moving along the scale. Uh, originally, we uh, reduced uh, uh, access to bars and restaurants to limit to takeout only. Um, this order includes theaters, nail salons, gyms, etc. Um, for all other businesses, I am saying you can stay open if you follow three things. Number one, um, if you have the ability to allow your employees to telework, you can do that. Number two, if teleworking isn't feasible for you, um, you need to appoint someone at your business in charge of social distancing measures. And number three, obviously, social distancing measures have to be enforced at the workplace. I am um, not interested in uh, taking someone's job or shutting down a business if they can practice social distancing at work. A couple of great examples that we've seen over the last several days include hardware stores, uh, taping lines out, uh, limiting the number of people in the store, um, retail that can do a takeout model like a bookstore or a nursery, um, can put items in your trunk and charge you online. Um, businesses that can are able to operate and do not contrib contribute to the spread of COVID-19 can remain open. Obviously, uh, we want to limit uh, Oregonians' travel uh, and focus it on homework or business that operates under these guidelines, obviously trips for essential services, groceries, medicine, and fuel. Only travel between your primary residence, your workplace, and trips to get essentials. Um, so uh, we wanted to do this collaboratively. I spent the weekend uh, talking with public health officials, uh, with the Hospitals Association, and on Sunday uh, in particular spoke with, I think, roughly over 200 elected officials um, from around the state to craft an order that we think works uh, to keep all Oregonians um, safer and healthier. Um, as I've said a, a, a zillion times in the last couple of weeks, um, this virus, um, this is an instance where each one of us can make a difference and that each one of our actions can have an impact and truly save lives.